On this Memorial Day, one man is giving back to our troops in need. He's actually giving them a place where they can call home. Fox 26 is Fort Atkinson, live right now in Southeast Houston. Good morning, Ford. Good morning, Jose. Yeah, I'm at the uh, New Life uh, Transition Facility for vets who need to get some help, really, to get back on their feet again. Right now, this uh, morning at 7 o'clock, I'm going to talk with Sasha Costa. He's with the uh, Rotary Club of Houston. The Rotary Club has had a great role in raising money to really turn this place into something special. Sasha, thanks for joining us this morning. First of all, just give me a little idea, give our viewers a little idea of what this facility is. Well, this facility helps homeless veterans who are in transition. A lot of the veterans, they're living on the street. Mr. Lewis takes them in and it helps them from the transition back into working and back in their feet. Mr. Lewis is Samuel Lewis. He is a retired Marine, uh, has been on active duty in a while. We talked to him about a half an hour ago, but he's doing a great job here. Now, you all had to raise some money because there's some new furniture here. There's some brand new flooring. Tell me about that. Yes. Well, the furniture came from uh, Mattress Pack has helped us with this. We got the furniture, and he has uh, helped us with couches, beds, uh, all kinds of things for the house. All right. You got brand new flooring here. Let's take a little tour of uh, the house. The old furniture, a lot of it uh, is on, on the curb, and here's something that's probably on its way out. This, I know this refrigerator's on its way out as well. The delivery caught us while new furniture's been delivered. So we have new couches. As you see, the old furniture's coming out. We have old bedding coming in, mm -hmm. uh, coming going out, new bedding coming in. And uh, yes, you see the floor. We have brand new flooring. Uh, the subfloor on the old floor, you could literally trip on it. Now everything's new. Uh, new beds into the bedroom now. And this uh, facility will house how many men at a, at a given time? At any given time, we'll have eight veterans here. Now we've also got uh, new flooring in the kitchen as well and new cabinets as well. We're still in the bedroom, however, because we can still see some uh, new bedding and some uh, new furniture in there as well. Let's walk in through here and we can see the, the kitchen. So the new cabinets. We can't... Uh, the we came in and we have installed new cabinets, a new countertop. Uh, we have provided a new refrigerator. You will see a new water heater. So this is a brand new kitchen as well. Well, this is really something. I know these vets really appreciate it. Yes, sir. They do. How difficult was it to raise this money? Well, you'd be surprised. The Rotary Club, we came together and uh, they have done, we all have done an amazing job getting this together. It's, it's a cause that uh, requires attention, and we're glad to be a help. Well, Sasha, I appreciate you joining us this morning. This is a wonderful facility here in Southeast Houston. Uh, homeless vets, guys who have really served their country, Jose, who just need a little bit of help getting back on their feet, can come here for six months, maybe a year, and they trans transition back into regular civilian life. It's really quite a place, and it really does a wonderful job. Let's say back to you. A great place for a new start after coming back from a lot of trauma overseas. Maybe some other folks might see this and decide to do a similar thing as well, Ford. Yeah, it's uh, it's really something. And by the way, some of these vets uh, are brand new, back from overseas, but some have they've been back in civilian life for quite some time and have just had some hard luck. So it, it, this place really works for all these folks. All right, thanks a lot. Ford Atkinson reporting live. You know, and this is a solemn day of tradition in the nation's capital. Fox's Douglas Cedar has more on today's Memorial Day plans for Washington.